Hello everybody, Varax here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, I was a big fan of the original game, Deus Ex. Indeed, I have Let's Played Deus Ex. I know that game pretty well. I um, haven't played it in a very long time, though, to my shame, so... Um, a little bit rusty on that one. And indeed, I am on this one as well, Deus Ex Human Revolution, which I played when it first came out, pretty much, and haven't really given it much of a look in since. So I am going to be pretty rusty on this. So it's not a blind let's play, but um, for the first little while, it might as well be. I'm going to struggle with the controls. I wonder what I'm doing. I won't understand the plot. Indeed, I probably won't understand the plot the entire way through the game. Um, but I'm going to give it my best shot at trying to get a grasp of what the hell's going on. And because um, it is quite a complicated plot, and it's one of the things I like about the game. It's got lots of intrigue. Uh, the gameplay is fantastic, and um, it's just a really great game. Very smooth, polished, brilliantly designed game. So I'm gonna let's play it. I hope you guys enjoy watching me play. I don't really have any uh, sort of specific um, sort of augmentations or play styles in mind for this. Uh, I'm just gonna launch in there and see what the hell happens. Um, no mods. That's, and, and this is the version that I'm playing with. Other than that, I can't really think of a hell of a lot to um, to say, other than let's start the game and choose a difficulty level, and we're going to be playing on Give Me a Challenge. Uh, I don't want to play on this difficulty, because if it's too difficult, I'm just going to be reloading over and over and over again, which is not going to be that entertaining to watch. I know it might be for some of you, but I do like to keep LPs sort of moving along quite well, and as I don't know this game, extremely well. Um, I'm not going to play on this difficulty. I mean, on the first game when I played Deus Ex, the original, I played on realistic difficulty because I was confident I could get through the game like that, and indeed I did. And this one I'm not so much, so we're going to go give me a challenge. Indeed, I do not want the entire game to be a cakewalk and me just stroll through everything without any challenge whatsoever. So, I reckon this one is pretty much okay. Right, we're going to see the opening cutscene now, and I'll join you at the other side. There'll be a little bit of a load screen now, though I kind of forgot about that, so I'm going to witter over this inanely while it loads. Um, not saying a whole lot, clearly. Just eager to get in there. Hopefully it won't take too long. I should really read these uh, hints as well. I'm very hopeful. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post rates. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Saref wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. 
But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. And here we are in the game itself. Um, so from the cutscene and the introductions, we know a couple of things so far. We live in an age where uh, biotechnology, pretty much, uh, augmentations are being used to supplement human limbs and um, abilities to make them, to improve them, pretty much. Um, now, Megan here has found a discovery, as we look here, I think. I did actually second. play this a little bit before so that I could get a grip for the game and uh, check the quality and stuff that uh, she has found a way to fuse the um, augmentations and on, uh, biology a lot better, a lot cheaper and a lot more efficiently. Um, so well done her. But these people who are um, dem demonstrating the humanity front are opposed to this. They're opposed to the uh, augmentation thing because of moral and ethical reasons. You see, there we go. They're sort of... Well, they're just opposed to putting implants into our bodies to improve them. They think they should be all natural and uh, as God intended it, if you like. Um, I'm not sure what year we're in. It would be, uh, it's probably common knowledge out there on the internet what year this is set at. Um, I don't know. I was hoping it would be on this newspaper, as indeed dates normally are, but they aren't. Um, in dialogue, our relationship with this lady is not currently, uh, is, is, is not actually really explained that well. We know that they're sort of close, but we don't know really their relationship. However, if we look in this computer here, there is a... You know, really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. There's an email here that's uh, from, her, from her mum, from Cassandra, Megan's mum, saying, at least when you and Adam were together, I knew I had to make sure you, you, you know, that you, he would eat, David he would make you eat once in a while. So, you know, they were together, they're not anymore, but they're obviously still good friends. Um, and that was quite key, and there are some other things there. David Sarif here is uh, the boss of the corporation, and... Um, this is someone saying they're going to feed her dog while she's away. And hey, this is a load of my other stuff. And she is not Come pleased on, with, us, with us reading uh, their e her emails. I'm just going to skip through this. You can read it if you like. Um, I did briefly read it last time I sort of checked this. Um, and there we go. Right, that's as far as I played into the game. So all that knowledge that I just showed you there was 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 is not going to last. Pretty much, it's not gonna last. I think we can just talk to her and leave the room now. Um, Please, Adam, I'm nervous enough. All right, let's go then. Let's go. Let's go. Fine, let's go. Warning: This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Sarif. Megan, hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay, but the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right, I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of... Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown he noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer, obviously. A more accurate reading is must be complicated. I'll ask David to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. 